Welcome to video number 11 in the Prelude to Computer Science series, Building a Model of a Computer. We're actually programming the computer in machine code. I strongly recommend that you don't try to uh, examine every single step of this, but try to understand the gist. And we're going to go on to something a little more complicated in the next video. Recall that our computer is a four -bit com uh, uses a 4-bit processor. Uh, and that it has uh, four instructions. Those instructions are halt, which does not require any parameter at all, load, which requires one parameter specifying a value, store, which uh, requires a parameter specifying a memory address, and add, which also uh, requires a parameter specifying a memory address. Uh, to, for the rest of this video, it might be a good idea, it would definitely be a good idea to open up two windows, um, two browsers. Uh, one of them should be stuck at this page right here so that you see these uh, instructions on this, uh, on this slide uh, as you're going through the other slides. So here is the program that we wrote in the last video. It's loaded into memory here. Notice that it only occupies the first 11 nibbles of memory. Uh, and uh, the contents of the program counter and the instruction register and register A are indeterminate. We don't know what they are. It doesn't matter what they are at the moment and we have this big red reset button up there. The purpose of the reset button, it only has one purpose, and that is to set the PC to zero, which means that once the PC is zero, then the computer will, will automatically start executing the instructions uh, starting at location zero. So let's start our uh, program here. So the X values in the IR register and the A register denote that we don't know what the contents are and we don't care what the contents are at this point. Uh, note that the button, the reset button has been pressed which has set the PC to zero which um, uh, means that the zeroth instruct, the, mem the instruction in memory location zero uh, is going to be loaded into the instruction register. The contents of memory location zero is um, uh, 1000 zero, zero, zero. that gets loaded into the instruction register the I, or the IR register and then the processor begins to interpret that it says oh that's a load instruction which means that I take the very next value in memory whatever value is specified in memory and I put that into the A register so the very next memory location is location number one, and the contents of that is 0010. So that value then gets loaded into, uh, the value specified there gets loaded into register A. Uh, and you can see on the right there a little explanation that just says load 2 into register into, well, in this case, register A. So now the PC, or program counter, increments to the next instruction, which is in memory location number 2. It takes the value that's in memory location number 2, and uh, it loads that into, one, into the instruction register. Uh, so it puts the value 1001 into the instruction register and tries to interpret that. That instruction, uh, 1001, means take whatever is in uh, register A and store it to the memory location specified in the next uh, memory location. So the next memory location, the contents of that is 1101, the contents of memory location number 3, that means that's a decimal 13. So we go down to decimal 13 and it says take the contents in A which is uh, 0010 and it stores that into 
memory location 0010. I just noticed uh, on the instruction register here uh, I, uh, that I have the wrong contents there. Uh, that should be uh, the contents of the memory of the instruction register should be 1001 uh, which is the first byte of this instruction. So now the PC, the program counter, increments to the next instruction which starts at memory location number 4. Um, the contents of memory location number 4 is 1000 which is loaded into the IR or instruction register. The computer then interprets that instruction which means lo uh, load the next the contents of the next, next memory location into memory. The contents of the next memory location, number 5, is 0011. So we see that 0011 is now in register A. So now the program counter increments to memory location 6. Uh, and the contents of memory lo location 6 is 1010 that gets loaded into the instruction register uh, and I see I didn't do that uh, on the on the diagram the instruction register should say 1010 that the processor then would interpret as an add instruction but at this time instead of taking the contents of the next memory location as a value it takes it as a memory address so the next the contents of the next memory location number 7 is 1101 and 1101 is binary for 13 so what that says is take the contents that are in memory location 13 and add them to the current contents of register A so I've got a little uh, diagram here I'm trying to show that the contents of 7 of memory location 7 is 13 which we, we say that that points to memory location 13 um, which is the value uh, which contains the value uh, that we're going to add to register A so after we add uh, the contents of memory location 13 to register A the, the, the new contents of register A is 0101 which is the binary notation for a 5. So we have the answer, our result of 2 plus 3, we have that in register A and the only thing we have left to do now is to store that in location 14 which was our uh, the goal of our program. So now the program counter increments to memory location 8 which contains 1001. That is then loca loaded into the instruction register and the processor interprets that as a store command and it says take the next value in there the next value the value in the next memory location is 1110 that corresponds to a 14 so it then takes register A and stores it in location 14 and I've circled location 14 memory location 14 in uh, the memory there and the value in there is now 0101 which was the value that was in register A. So now the instruction register increments to uh, 10. Now that's a decimal 10 and not a binary 10. The contents of memory location number 10 is 0000 which is then loaded into the instruction register. The instruction register says oh that's a halt command and then all processing stops and that is the end of the execution of our program this is the the end of video number eleven uh, don't worry if you couldn't follow every step if you just got the general gist of the thing that's okay uh, and we'll talk about this a little more in the next video video number twelve